Okay, so if you want any particular um, music, you're welcome to put that on. <clears throat> let's um, let's start a little differently today. Okay, so let's start our practice on our bellies. And if you want to grab a pillow, you're always welcome to have a couple of pillows or blocks for your practice. And so just starting on your belly, take your feet wide so that your toes come towards the edges of your mat. And then you can either cradle your cheek in your hands or place your palms on top of one another and just cradle your forehead onto the backs of your hands. If you need any movements, any shifting of your hips or your chest, just doing so at the start of your practice. So that you can begin to land yourself in stillness. Just take a couple of deep, full belly breaths in. And as you exhale, feel your body sink down towards the earth. Notice how you rise and you fall with your breath. And so today's practice is really tapping into that intention of your right to feel. And being on your belly often gives you that ability to just feel things a little bit differently. To feel your belly press down and towards the earth, the back of your chest rise. And then to feel the heaviness as you just sink your front body into your mat. And sometimes to give ourselves that right to feel, we simply just need to shift the perspective and know that it's okay to just land wherever you have this morning. Uh, there's still room for you here in this practice. Notice as you slow down your breath, you give yourself a little bit more space to start your practice. This is a clearing of old energy of anything that happened last week so that you have a blank canvas upon which to paint with thoughts or feelings, sensation, experience. that each breath can allow you a opportunity to let go and each inhale can be an opportunity to start over. And gently Start to bend into your knees, bringing your heels up towards the sky. And then drop your feet over to the left and over to the right. Washing out the tension in the backs of the hips or even low back. And then the next time that your feet come up through center, gently release the tops of your feet down. Plant your hands underneath your shoulders and peel yourself away from your mat. Meet into a uh, child's pose, sending your big toes to touch, hips back towards your heels. Forehead roots down onto your mat. And you can just gently rock your head side to side if that feels okay. You can start to nestle into this shape. Notice how your body is feeling this morning, whether it's a little groggy or it's feeling energized. 
and not having to use that as a label for how this practice is going to go, but using that as information of how you might need to move in these next few breaths, of what might feel good for your body, of what you might be craving. Once again, start to lift your body away from your mat, this time coming into tabletop. Walk your knees underneath your hips. Spread your fingertips wide. Tuck your right toes under, modified side plank. Slide your right heel back and then turn and pivot open to the right side of your mat. As you do so, reach your right hand back and up and take a big circle of that arm. And then meet back to tabletop, right hand comes down, right knee beside your left. Extend your left toes back as you turn and pivot open to the left. Sweep your left hand back behind you, up to the sky, and over to the front, and meet into tabletop. We're just going to move through this a few more times. So extending your right toes back, pivot open. Use an inhale breath to reach back and up. The exhale brings you into tabletop. Inhale to side plank, left fingertips reach back and up, and exhale to tabletop. Let's take one more to each side. Really reaching through the fingertips to work into the inner line of the arm, rooting through the top of your shin and foot to give you some balance and some stability. Start to turn your fingertips once you come back through tabletop to face towards your knees. And you can even walk your hands a little bit closer towards your knees so that you're not hyperextending the elbows. Soft bend into the elbows and just play shifting forward and back, maybe even side to side. Finding some space into your wrists, front of your forearms. You can take any movements here that feel good, that feel like they're releasing tension through mobility. And then when you do come back through center, one at a time, place your fingertips to point forward again, and then walk your hands out in front of you for melting heart pose. Lower down onto your elbows and forearms. Keep your hips lifted above your heels and forehead just roots down to your mat. Start to notice the sensations of this shape, the lengthening down the side of your body into your lats, your serratus muscles. These ones tend to get quite tight, especially if we're inactive or we're not moving. And so just sending your breath to the sides of your rib cage will allow for some expansion, for some opening of these places. It'll allow you to just start to massage into the tension that's held between the muscle fibers simply through inhaling. Let's just take one more big deep breath in and long exhale breath out. Walk your fingertips back in towards your body. Hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. And if you're in the middle of your mat, just walk yourself towards the top of your mat. One at a time, extend your toes back to meet into a high plank. Always optional, lower your knees if this feels like a lot for your wrists or you're dumping into your lower back. Slower than you'd like, ripple through the spine to downward facing dog. Press into your hands, start to lift out of your shoulders, your mid back, start to lift your hips to the sky, and then melt your heels down, downward facing dog. Check in with this shape if you need to slightly adjust the feet wider, or you need to shorten the stance. And then let's do that a couple more times. So as you inhale, pick up your heels, Ripple forward through the spine until your shoulders lend over your wrists. And exhale, belly button to spine, lift your hips up, downward facing dog. Inhale, breath, shift forward, high plank. And exhale, downward facing dog. 
Let's do that one more time. Inhale, slower than you'd like. Find high plank. And exhale, slower than you'd like. Find downward facing dog. Take a deep bend into your knees. Walk your hands to the back of your mat and find a forward fold. Let your head hang heavy. You can always reach for opposite elbows or interlace your hands to the back of your head. If it feels okay to just gently sway the body side to side or forward or back, just starting to activate and wake up the back of your legs, hamstrings, calves. You'll feel the muscles along the back side of your body both lengthening and as you tip forward, making sure that you don't fall over. So those muscles are also contracting. Okay. Gently release any grip that you have with your fingertips. On an inhale breath, halfway lift and lengthen. Reach the crown of your head forward, pull your hips back. Exhale to fold. Walk your fingertips forward to high plank. And then lower onto your knees for a moment. We're gonna go through a little Kriya to create some heat into the body. So modified plank. Inhale, breath, shift forward, shoulders towards fingertips. Exhale, only lower halfway. On your inhale breath, press into your hands, straighten your arms. Exhale, sit your hips back to a child's pose. Knees can stay together or hip width distance. We're gonna move through that five more times. The lowest you'll go is halfway, but also don't feel like you have to go halfway down. Just a soft bend into the elbows to wake up the arms. Inhale, breath, shift forward to your modified plank. Exhale, lower. Inhale, straighten the arms, press the earth away. Exhale to child's pose. Inhale, breath, ripple forward through the spine, modified plank. Exhale, chaturanga, halfway. Inhale, press up and exhale, hips back to heels. Okay, so three more times. Inhales draw you forward, exhales lower you to the earth. Inhales lift you from the earth, and exhales sink you back down to child's pose. All right, I'll leave these last two rounds for you to just find on your own timing, on your own breath. And the next time that you land into child's pose, you can just start to soften your way in. Finding some space through the lateral side of the body, walk your fingertips over to the top or right corner of your mat or just the right side of your mat. As you inhale, send your breath to the lengthened side of your rib cage. Feel your shoulder creating space as it reaches away from the body. And then on your next exhale breath, walk your hands through center and find the other side. Now feeling length through the right side of your body. Let your head hang heavy or rest heavy. Take a couple of clearing breaths. And walk your hands all the way back through center. Knee into your downward facing dog, lifting up through tabletop. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up, down dog. Looking forward, step your way to the top of your mat. Take an inhale breath to halfway lift and lengthen. And exhale to fold, bend deeply into your knees, feet at least hip width distance. Place your hands onto your thighs and then cat-cow in this almost like a half chair. So as you inhale, start to pull your heart forward, send your tailbone up. As you exhale, curl and round through the spine, tuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, breath, belly drops heavy, gaze lifts. And exhale, curl and round in. One more time. Inhale, breath to drop your belly, lift your gaze and exhale, curl and round in. Walk your hands up the length of your legs in this curled spine until your head comes fully up and you're in standing at the top of your mat. Roll your shoulders once or twice 
and just allow yourself to settle in. Okay. We're going to go through a sequence today that might feel a little bit awkward or confusing and the point of this is to just allow yourself to feel whatever you feel in that moment and really to remember that there's always space for you to breathe and work through some of um, the things that come up. Okay. So to start, just close down your eyes and take a couple of deep breaths in mountain pose. Let go of anything that you feel like is holding you back from just being fully here. Let's take one more clearing breath. On your inhale, start to sweep your arms all the way up. Take a big stretch. Interlace your fingers so that your pointer fingers are lifted, still standing. On an exhale breath, start to pour over to the right side, crescent moon. Send your hips over to the left. The tendency is for that left shoulder to start to roll and twist through the spine. So really open up through your left shoulder. Your left hip will want to roll back as you move to the side. So start to pull your left hip forward. Beautiful. On your inhale breath, use the left side of your core to pull you up. So start to feel that contraction, lift up and lengthen. As you exhale, step your right foot back, about halfway back, turn and pivot open to the side of your mat, five-pointed star, okay? Turn your heels in and your toes out. Inhale, breath, reach your arms up. As you exhale, goddess squat, sink your hips down, bend into your knees, bend into your elbows, okay? Notice if you're leaning forward in this shape, you want your shoulders to be over top of your hips, elbows wide in line with the shoulders. And if you look down at your knees, they land directly over top of your ankles. If it feels like your knees are falling in, just take your feet closer and then feel like you're pressing your knees back. Okay. On an inhale breath, straighten out your legs, straighten out your arms. As you exhale, start to set up for a triangle. Turn your back foot to the side of your mat. Turn your front toes forward. Open up your arms. Inhale, breath. Start to reach forward through your left fingertips towards the top of your mat. And exhale, rotate. Left hand comes down to your shin or to the inside of your front leg. Right fingertips reach up. Slide your shoulder blades together. Really reach through your hands to open up the space of the chest and inner line of your arms. Okay. As you exhale, pyramid pose, start to release your right hand down towards the ground. Turn and pivot onto your back toes. Now, if this pose feels really challenging to reach the ground, just grab a couple of blocks or props that you can place your hands on. Fold over top of your front leg for just a moment. Allow your chin to tuck towards your chest. Feel the length into the back of your left leg, even if it's a little bit sticky this morning. And then slowly bend into both knees, monkey lunge. Back knee lowers down. As you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Okay, so still facing the top of your mat. Root through your back foot, send your hips forward. Beautiful. Interlace your hands behind your back, roll your shoulders up and down. Allow your knuckles to draw heavy towards the earth as your heart lifts. And then squeeze your glutes to support your lower back. On an exhale breath, gently release your hands down to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes to lift your back knee. Turn to Skandasana over to the right. Start to walk your hands along the edge of your mat, bend into your back knee. So your left leg stays straight, optional to come all the way down, hips to heels, turn your left toes up, or you can keep your hips lifted. So whatever feels best for the knee that's bending. If you want to add in a twist or an opening of the chest, you can always walk your right fingertips out and start to guide your left hand up towards the sky or even work into a half bind. Left hand wraps towards your right hip crease. 
And then just leaning back, those of you that have opened up into this twist, opening up through that left shoulder. And then Skandasana on the other side, gently release your hand or twist, walk along the edge of your mat, start to bend into your left knee now, right leg straightens. Find the depth that serves your joints, and then whenever you're ready, you can start to peel this open, reach, lengthen, twist, bind. There's so many options, and we'll be here a couple more times, so you don't have to worry about going into the fullest expression, just listening to how your body feels. On your exhale, breath gently, release from the bind or the twist, walk to the back of your mat for a monkey lunge. So start to shift towards your right foot, turn and pivot to face the back of your mat and lower your left knee down. Once your left knee is down, float your hands all the way up. Shoulders stack over top of your ribs, ribs over top of your hips. Really strong and supported pose. Pull your inner thighs together to help with balance. And then with strong legs, start to interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders up and down. Take an inhale breath to lift through the chest. Glide the heart upwards. And then exhale, gently release your hands down to frame your front foot. Pyramid. Tuck your back toes to lift your back knee and then slide your back foot maybe about a third of the way up to shorten your stance. Just fold for a moment over top of your front thigh, feeling a lengthening into the back of that leg. You know, this is where it gets a little bit different. You're coming into triangle from a different transition. So start to walk your hands to the inside of your front foot. Pick up your back toes and turn and pivot them just slightly off to the side. So they don't have to be parallel to the short edge of the mat, but just a little bit more external rotation. Root through your right hand as you inhale, start to glide your left fingertips up towards the ceiling. And then get light onto those right fingertips and start to slide your right hand up your calf until you come into your triangle pose. Might feel a little bit different from this side. You might feel this more through the back hip and that's okay. Transitions can sometimes allow us that different perspective to just feel into the pose and which muscles are activated. On your inhale breath, lift up from your left wrist to stack your shoulders all the way over top of your hips. And then turn your toes out, turn your heels in, got a squat, inhale, reach your arms up and exhale, sink back in. You can always take little shifts if you're just trying to find your comfort zone here and shift left and right. If this arm variation doesn't serve you, hands can always come onto hips or to heart center. So knowing that you always have options. Good. Beautiful. On an inhale breath, straighten your arms, straighten your legs. Keep your arms lifted and turn and step to the top of your mat. Crescent moon, interlace your fingers. Keep your pointer fingers lifted. Inhale to lengthen. Exhale, pour over to the left this time. Okay. Right shoulder will want to rotate forward. So keep it as though you're between two panes of glass. Start to open up through that right shoulder and then send your right hip forward. On your next inhale breath, inhale, come back up through center and exhale, hands to your heart. Release your palms down beside you, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Roll your shoulders once or twice. Close down your eyes and just pause and feel into your physical body. Notice any sensations that are lingering or maybe even just how that felt. If it felt a little bit sticky, just remembering that as we move through this again on the other side, perhaps finding somewhere you can start to move and unstick and just give yourself the space to feel into your body and then respond in a way that is kind and gentle. All right, on your inhale breath, reach your arms all the way up, interlace your fingers, point your fingers, stay lifted. Exhale over to the left, send your hips to the right. The second round is gonna be a little bit quicker, so not quite one breath per movement, 
But now that we've been in these poses, just giving us a little bit more of that flowing time. So as you inhale, lift all the way back up. This time, step back with your left foot and turn and pivot to the side of your mat for a five-pointed star. Walk your heels in, turn your toes out. Inhale, breath, reach your arms up. Exhale, sink your hips down, goddess squat. Take a full breath in, fill up, press into the earth. Exhale, sink your hips down. Inhale, breath, straighten your legs, straighten your arms. Triangle, start to turn your back toes to the side of your mat, right toes point forward. Open up the arms, inhale, reach to your right fingertips, and when you can't reach anymore, start to release your right hand down to the inside of your front leg, left fingertips draw up. Activate through the entire body, so squeeze your glutes, root evenly through your feet. As you exhale, turn your left hand to the ground for pyramid. Both hands frame your front foot, and you can turn onto your back foot, picking up the heel, and just fold for a moment. Allow the muscles of your spine to relax and soften from all the engagement in triangle pose. Bend it into both knees and lower your left knee to your mat monkey lunge. As you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. As you exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders up and down. Inhale, breath. Just start to lean into the weight of your knuckles and fingertips. Soften through the shoulders with each exhale. And gently release the grip of your hands down. Tuck your back toes to lift your knees. Skandasana, turn towards the left side of your mat. Bend into your back knee, front leg stays straight. So either lift it up high or you can come all the way down. Optional to add in those binds or twists. Just here for about two more breaths. So if you are twisting, use your inhale to open and exhale to just soften into your joints. Take one more inhale. And as you exhale, transfer your weight forward. Skandasana on the other side. Right foot begins to, or right knee begins to bend. Left leg straightens. Maybe you add in the twist on this side. Reaching left fingertips up and cracking the heart wide open. At the bottom of your next exhale, transition towards the back of your mat monkey lunge. Walk along the edge of your mat, turn all 10 toes to the back, lower your right knee down, and then inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders up and down. As your knuckles get heavy, let your heart get light. Feeling into these two opposing forces of the practice, and that it's actually okay to just feel both. That one doesn't have to be right or wrong or overpowering or extreme. That we just start to find this moderation and balance in what we feel. As you exhale, gently release your hands to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes to lift your knee, pyramid. Step your back foot up to shorten the stance. Straighten both legs and fold. Take a full breath in and a long exhale breath out. Triangle, walk your hands to the inside of your front foot. Pick up your back toes and pivot them more to the side of your mat. As you inhale, glide your right hand up towards the sky. Exhale to just steady through your feet. Start to come up light onto your left fingertips and then float your left hand onto your left shin or the inside of your thigh. Notice how this might feel a little bit different than the first time you were in triangle. And as you inhale, rise all the way up, five-pointed star, set up for goddess. Start to turn your heels in, turn your toes out. Inhale, reach your arms up, and exhale, bend into your elbows and start to sink down. Hold for a full breath in. A long breath out, maybe you sink a little bit deeper. Inhale, straighten your arms and legs, keep your arms lifted, step to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach your fingertips up, 
Exhale, close off with crescent moon to the right. Hands to the right, hips over to the left. On your inhale breath, lift back up through center and exhale, gather your hands to your heart. Release your palms down beside you, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Five full recovery breaths. Maybe the second time that you move through this, this felt a little bit smoother. Maybe you had a little bit more space for yourself to just simply move into. But sometimes to allow ourselves just to feel, we have to be in those uncomfortable situations and start to give ourselves permission. Moving just a little bit faster, about one breath per movement, but we are gonna add in some new and funky movements. So as we go through this, just listen carefully, carefully making sure that you're just fully present in this moment. Okay. Inhale, breath, reach your fingertips out and up, interlace your fingers. Exhale, pour over to the right, send your hips off to the left. Inhale, breath, lift back up through center. Exhale, step your right foot back. Five-pointed star, turn and pivot to the side of your mat. Goddess squat, turn your heels in. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows. Take a full breath in and a long breath out. Inhale, breath, straight your arms, straighten your legs. Exhale, triangle to the front. Turn and pivot your back toes to the side of your mat. Kick your hips back, reach forward, and then left hand comes down, right hand comes up. Take one full breath in, and exhale to pyramid, fold over top of your front leg. This is where it's going to switch. Turn and pivot onto your back toes. Now start to lengthen out your spine. Reach the crown of your head forward. Right hand stays rooted on the ground, or you can always grab a block. And then as you inhale, twist to your left. Bring your left hand to your left hip or left fingertips reach all the way up. Slide your shoulder blades together. Squeeze your inner thighs. Beautiful. As you exhale, gently release from your twist. Bend both knees, monkey lunge. Back knee roots down. As you inhale, take your arms high. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Roll your shoulders up and down. Take an inhale breath to lift through the heart, get heavy through the hands. And then exhale breath, gently release your hands to frame your front foot. Tuck your back toes to lift your back knee. Turn and pivot to Skandasana all the way over to the back of your mat. Right knee bends, left leg stays straight. Inhale breath, reach your left fingertips all the way up. Exhale, this is different. Take your left hand down. Start to, sorry, not quite different just yet. Walk over to Skandasana, the other side. Bend into the other knee. Walk your left fingertips up. Take your right hand all the way up to the sky. And exhale, bring your hand back through to heart center. Start to walk through center. This is where it gets different. Turn and pivot your toes to the side of your mat into a wide-legged forward fold. Allow your body to drape. Feel some length into the backs of your legs. Okay. Walk your fingertips out in front of you for a wide-legged down dog. And then plant your left hand into the center of in between your legs, but out in front. Look underneath your left armpit and then wrap your right hand around your left foot or ankle or shin. So coming into a down dog twist. Now you can keep both arms straight. You can always bend into your right elbow, but just relax the back of your head and your neck. Gently release from this side. Place your right hand where your left hand was. Shift your hips back, add in that twist, left hand reaching for your back ankle or foot, hollowing out through your armpit. Allow your head and neck to just hang heavy. And then gently release your hands all the way back through center. Walk your hands underneath your shoulders. Turn and pivot to the back of your mat for a monkey lunge. 
lower your left knee down. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up. As you exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Inhale to lift through the chest, send your knuckles heavy towards your heel. And then exhale, release your hands down, pyramid. Slide your back foot up, straightening out your legs. This is different again, so lengthen through the spine. Keep your left hand rooted down, and as you inhale, start to glide your right hand up towards your right hip or all the way up towards the sky. Squeeze your inner thighs together. Slide your shoulder blades towards one another. Okay. Exhale, breath. Gently release your right hand to the inside of your front foot. Set up for triangle. Turn your back foot towards the side of your mat. Inhale, take your left hand up. Start to lift out of your right fingertip. Slide your right hand up the length of your leg towards your calf. On your next inhale breath, rise tall, five-pointed star. Turn your right toes to the side of your mat. Now turn your heels in. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale to sink into goddess squat. Hold for a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, straighten your arms and legs. Turn and step to the top of your mat. Inhale, reach through your pointed fingers. And exhale, pour over to the left. Inhale, come all the way back through center. And exhale, hands to your heart. Release your palms down one more time, mountain pose. Roll your shoulders up and back. You're going to find the same sequence over to the left with a couple of extra additions. Inhale, breath, reach your fingertips all the way up. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, pour over to the left, hips to the right. Inhale, lift up through center. Exhale, giant step back with your left foot, five-pointed star. Turn your toes to the side of your mat, arms wide. Pick up your heels, heels turn and toes turn out. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, bend your knees, bend your elbows, sink your hips down. Hold for an inhale and then exhale. Okay. Inhale, reach your arms up, straighten your legs, triangle, open up to the front. Send your hips back, reach through your right hand, rotate through the rib cage. One full breath to reach from fingertip to fingertip, and as you exhale, fold in towards your pyramid. Okay. Lengthen out your spine, reach the crown of your head forward, inhale, breath to twist right hand to your hip or reaching all the way up. Now optional to stay here or if you want to play with reverse half moon, walk your left hand forward and play with picking up your left heel. You're only here for about two more breaths. So wherever you are, just allowing yourself to feel into that, knowing that you won't always feel this way. If you are in reverse half moon, just release your foot back down and untwist your body. Okay, lower your back knee to your mat, monkey lunge. As you inhale, reach your arms all the way up. And exhale, release your hands down to your mat. Skandasana, turn towards the back of your mat, or the side of your mat, sorry. Bend into your left knee, right leg straightens. If you're adding in a twist, inhale your right fingertips all the way up and exhale, release your right hand down. Shift to Skandasana on the other side. Right knee bends towards the top of your mat and back leg straightens. Open up for your inhale and exhale, release wide legged fold. Turn all 10 toes to the side of your mat and drape your body to fold. Gonna add in just a tiny little bit more here. So from your wide-legged fold, plant your hands under your shoulders and start to lengthen your spine. Pick up your right heel and turn your right toes towards the top of your mat. As you do so, walk your hands to frame your right foot. So your right toes are pointed to the top, back toes pointed to the side. Half moon, as you walk your hands about a foot forward, take the weight into your right foot and just pick up your left heel. Now hands can stay rooted onto the ground or you can always walk them up onto a block. Optional to add in a twist, now take your left hand to your left hip or reach your left fingertips all the way up. 
Squeeze your left glutes. This is going to help you feel more stable and strong in this pose, as well as extend your hip. Warrior two, bend into your standing leg. Slowly, slowly, slowly step your left foot back. Use your inhale breath, lift all the way up. Exhale, just soften into your warrior two. Inhale, breath, five-pointed star, straighten into your front leg, turn your toes to the side of your mat, and then exhale, bring your hands onto your hips and just roll your shoulders once or twice. Inhale, breath, pull your elbows back, lift through your chest, and exhale, wide-legged fold. Okay. Take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Okay. Half moon to the other side. If you want your block and it's at the top of your mat, just start to walk it to the back of your mat. Pick up your left toes and pivot them to face towards the back of your mat. Right toes still point to the side. Shift your weight into your left foot and spring off of your right toes. Flex your right foot to engage the muscles of that leg. Squeeze into your glutes. And don't worry if this feels a little sticky or frustrating or discouraging. Just take a couple of deep breaths and remember that you have permission to feel exactly as you do, and you also have permission to just be here. Warrior two, start to bend into your left knee, step all the way back, use your inhale breath to rise up, exhale to soften and sink in. Last time, inhale breath. This time, windmill your hands down either side of your left foot, Lower your right knee down, monkey lunge. Use your inhale breath, rise your hands up. Exhale, take your hands to frame your front foot pyramid. Slide your back foot up, straightening out your leg. Pyramid twist, right hand stays rooted. As you inhale, start to take your left hand to your hip or all the way up to the sky. Optional, if you played with this on the other side, Walk your right hand about a foot forward and then pick up your right heel for your reverse half moon. Two full breaths, whatever pose you've chosen. No matter how shaky, no matter how strong, just take that next breath and trust that you're allowed to be here. Gently release your foot down if you were in your reverse half moon and then everyone can untwist the body. Setting up for triangle, walk your hand to the inside of your front foot, turn your back foot off to a slight angle, and as you inhale, reach your right hand up. Get light onto your left fingertips, start to glide your left hand at the inside of your calf. Last little bit of your practice, inhale, rise tall, exhale, five-pointed star. Turn your heels in, turn your toes out, Inhale, reach up, and exhale, bend into your knees, sink your hips down. Hold for a breath in, and a breath out. As you inhale, straighten your legs, reach up, and exhale, step to the top of your mat. One final crescent moon, inhale, reach your fingertips up, and exhale, pour over to the right. Inhale, come back up through center, and exhale to forward fold, let that go. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Drape your body, maybe you just sway side to side, allowing your lower back to release. Okay. If you do have a hold of opposite arms or any bind of the hands, just gently release your hands down. Walk your knees back one at a time to land into tabletop. Okay. Now this neck shape is one of my favorites for lower back and mid back. So keeping your toes tucked, knees hip width distance, start to walk your hands back towards your knees. So you're sitting your hips onto your heels and then reach back to the outside of your feet and wrap your fingertips so that they come behind your heels and thumbs kind of land onto the front of your foot. Now start to curl and hinge forward. Tuck your chin to your chest for rabbit pose. Crown of your head comes down onto the ground. Slide your shoulders away from your ears, and this might be enough, making sure that there's not weight onto your head, it's just gently resting. 
If you want to take this deeper, start to lift your hips away from your heels. This is going to straighten out your arms and then try to take your shoulders away from your ears. So there's still not a lot of weight in your head, but you should be finding some release into the upper back, mid back, sometimes lower back. Wherever you are, take three more breaths. Try to fill up fully down towards your belly. And then to come out of this, slowly sit your hips back towards your heels. Walk your fingertips forward. Take your time to lift your gaze. And then come all the way down onto your belly for a moment. Just bend into your elbows. Take your cheek to either side and then just allow your hands to rest down beside your body in a neutral spine. Just as we started, start to feel into the breath. Notice if there's a bit of a difference between the breath at the start of your practice and your breath now. Take one more full recovery breath. And then gently bring your chin to your mat, press back to child's pose, hands underneath your shoulders, lift your hips up and back and then send your hips to your heels and lengthen out your spine. If you're feeling a little bit unsettled in this pose, you can always rock your forehead side to side a couple of times. You can always shift ever so slightly, but start to give yourself a few recovery breaths in this lengthening of your spine. So a lot of our poses today were about creating strength around the joints. And so now is that opportunity to let go of that need to be strong and to just sink into the practice. Start to shift forward towards your tabletop once again. And then make your way onto your seat. So just scoop your feet out to either side. Bring your feet around and in front. Butterfly pose. Bring the soles of your feet together. Knees out to the side. And know that if this feels like a lot for your knees, you can always take blocks underneath your knees or underneath your thighs. The closer your heels are into your body, the more sensation you'll receive. So you can always slide your heels a little further out and then just start to bend and fold over top of your legs. You can allow your spine to curve, release. If that feels like too much for your spine, just find a flat back. So long line from the crown of your head to your hips. One of the niyamas, the self-care duties, is discipline. And discipline can feel like that inner fire. It feels like friction sometimes because when we're disciplined, we're often starting to create new habits or new patterns which are rubbing up against the old ones and creating this heat and fire. And so in today's practice, if you felt a little bit of that friction of not knowing what was next, of getting confused with lefts and rights, that this is all a part of the practice to create these new avenues of which we can start to move and to allow ourselves to feel whatever shows up in that moment, but to not give up to have that discipline to just keep breathing and to take that next step, to listen to our bodies and still be in moderation, but to always trust 
that there is that room for us to be there even when there's heat building, even when it's uncomfortable. Slowly, you can start to walk your hands up in towards your body. Take your hands to the outer edges of your knees and you can close them like you're closing a book. Walk your feet out wide to the edges of your mat. Walk your hands back and then just gently rock your knees side to side. We'll eventually make our way onto our back. So you're welcome to continue to rock the knees side to side once you land onto your back. You can just lower down onto your spine. You might have to replant your feet again if they were out quite wide. And just continuing this rocking motion. The next time that your knees go to land over to the right, taking an internally rotated twist. Just allow your knees to splay out. So feet are apart, thighs, calves, knees are apart. If this feels like a lot for your left knee, you can either walk your knees a little closer together or grab something like a block for your left thigh or knee to rest onto. So there's always options to just take less of that internal rotation by bringing knees closer or to just add a prop. Arms can come out wide or cactus shape, whatever is comfortable. Start to allow yourself to become heavier. Give yourself that space to unwind. That discipline does take moderation and that we can't just be at one extreme. We can't be rigid or fixed that there's always going to be some flexibility for movement, for release, for ease, and for peace. So using the end of your practice to create that balanced or sattvic effect of your body to just let go. On your next inhale breath, lift your knees up through center. If you need to rock knees side to side a couple times, you can. Otherwise, just allowing your knees to splay out to the other side. Might feel this deep into your right hip this time, just making sure there's no pulling onto your knees. Start to hone your attention in towards your breath allowing the outside world to wait just a little bit longer before it calls you to join it. And to just take these final few moments of your practice to tap into what you're feeling this morning, recognizing if there's something you might need to let go of, to give yourself that space and permission to be here. Recognizing how you might need to approach your day in order to honor your body and your heart. Slowly you can start to lift your knees up through center and bring your knees into your chest and just give yourself one nice big final squeeze, final hug. If you're craving any other poses, Plow pose might be nice, or you could always just gently rock side to side, or even happy baby. So if there's final poses that you feel like you need to close off your practice, you're welcome to take them. Otherwise, just starting to extend your legs out long for final Shavasana. Palms landing down beside your body. Allowing yourself to be fully at rest. I think sometimes when we come to our mats, we have these expectations of how our practice is going to go. We have expectations of what our body is capable of 
and we forget that everything in this moment is new because it's now. And so this is where we sometimes rub up against that discomfort or we start to lean into the resistance. And it is a really beautiful opportunity to just show up and hold space for yourself. And this can come in a physical form, but this can also come in conversations with coworkers or friends or family. It can come into moments that make you feel not at ease or when things spark fears. And so this discipline to just stay with your breath is one of the tools that we have to your permission to feel that you never have to be one side or the other. You don't have to be fully feeling or shutting it out, that you can both feel the good and the bad emotions, so to speak, or the heavy and the light emotions, and there's still room to just be there. And I think that this is a really beautiful way of honoring the duality of who we are. In this life, we will experience both qualities of life, the loss and the growth, the dark and the light, the yin and the yang. And so by just embracing how we feel in that moment, we can start to navigate what we need moving forward. I'll leave you for a moment here on your back to just breathe and just take a little bit more time for yourself before you move into the rest of your day. And I'll bring you out of this when we're ready to close off together. If you need longer to rest in Shavasana, if you're not quite ready to come out of this, you're welcome to stay exactly as you are. If you are ready to start to move into the rest of your day, just start to, to bring some small movements into your body. And eventually meeting in a comfortable seat, but no rush to get there. We're going to find a different mudra to close off practice today. So instead of hands at heart center, start to slide your right fingertips towards your left heel of your hand and then left fingertips to the right. So your elbows pull out in opposite directions, palms face. And then as you slide your fingertips away, hook your fingertips um, at the knuckles and then just bring your hands to your sternum. So Ganesh mudra. Ganesh is the remover of obstacles. So just feeling that strength between your hands, that even when things feel fiery or challenging, that it's okay to just breathe. And we don't have to remove these obstacles charging through like a bull, but sometimes it's just a simple walk around or a step over. And so just reminding yourself it's okay to feel what you feel as you navigate these obstacles of life. 
from the bottom of my heart. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. Have a beautiful uh, start to your week and I'll see you all Wednesday night for in practice. Actually, sorry, I'll see you Tuesday. We have a vinyasa if you want to join at 445.